Okay guys, our next step is going to be creating layaways. And the first thing we'll need to do is go into our preferences and set a 30% deposit, which will be required when customers make a layaway. So we're going to go up to File. We're going to go to Preferences. We're going to go to Company. Under our general preferences, we just want to confirm that we do create customer layaways. And now we're going to come down to our layaways. And we are going to check the box that says require an initial deposit. By default, QuickBooks POS suggests 10%. We're going to change that to 30%. We're going to click on save. Now back from to our navigator window, we're going to go on make a customer order. I'm sorry, we're going to click on make a customer order. And we're going to click on layaways. Now a new blank form will be will come available. We're going to enter our new information. <clears throat> and now in the items area, we're going to select vacation planner. We can also do I want to select items from lists, which will bring up all of our inventory lists. We can find an item by putting in a certain description if we had a long list, if we wanted to find all of our blue books or anything like that, we could go ahead and put in some terms here to help us search our database. But since we only have one item set up, we're just going to double click on the Vacation Planner software. <clears throat> we can change our quantity by pushing this button here. And if we go over the amount of quantity that we have in inventory, you get an insufficient quantity in other words, we don't have four units available. And it's going to let us know that we have three available to sell. We're going to change that back down to one. We're going to change our associate. Nope, we don't have employees set up. So let's go ahead and do that. Let me go ahead and click save only. We're actually going to cancel out of this. Real quickly, we're going to go to our employees employee lists. And we're going to put in a new employee. And let's go ahead and put Jay Smith. We're going to come back to Make Sales. We're going to click on Layaway. We're going to put our vacation planner in. Or we're going to go, I want to. Select items from lists. Select that vacation planner. And now we can change our cashier to Jamel. And our associate to Jamel. We're going to click Yes. We want that to apply to all items on this order. We're going to leave today's date as the order date, 331-2012. We're going to come down to our customer field and we're just going to type in green. And that will bring up General Services Administration. Now if the customer did have a PO number, we can go ahead and put the purchase order number in there. I'm going to go ahead and click Save. We're not going to print it, click save only. And now, because we put in the 30% deposit required, when a customer creates an, an order, it automatically by default calculates that 33%, which in this example is $59.70. We're going to accept that as cash. And click OK.